Public service announcement, motherfuckers. From my legs. My legs done had enough. So tell your shooter, start aiming for some shit that's gonna kill somebody, man. These niggas aiming for legs, man. My legs are tired of this shit. Hey, check it up, son. Check it out, Dal. Man, I hate these stories, dog. Now, it's with a heavy heart I gotta report the passing of Young Mozzie, a rapper from Kevin Gates' BWA camp, okay? Now, I've reported on him multiple times. Most of the reporting I've done on him, he's had a slapper rapper challenge, okay? Also, multiple times he has been shot, okay? And after being shot, he taunted the people who shot him, claiming they couldn't shoot or they couldn't aim, all right? Now, apparently someone shot him and he died, all right? And it seems targeted. The police are saying this is not random. It's absolutely targeted. And I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of torn because on one hand, I feel so incredibly sad for him, his family, everybody who supports him and loves him. On the other hand, I basically saw a man who, despite the many warnings from countless others and even myself, he chose the path that basically led to his murder. All right. I mean, everyone wanted him to move, get out of that situation, stop being around that type of type of energy and also stop taunting the people who are shooting at you, especially when it seems that you're the victim in most of these cases and not the aggressor. OK, unfortunately, this may have culminated in him losing his life. He leaves behind kids and, of course, a family. And one of the saddest things about this whole thing is that supposedly hours before his death, he was on Instagram Live with a young girl, and the young girl, I believe, that was his daughter. So, again, this is not something anyone should feel okay about. Unfortunately, hip-hop and the individuals that are connected to hip-hop oftentimes get in situations like this and just way more than other cultures or other genres of music. Their entertainers or the participants in those cultures really experience, and it's saddening. Now, as far as who did it, the police are working on that. I hope they find justice for the family. Reportedly, they said it was somebody with dreads. The dreads was like pulled back or something like that. I think the person may have had a hoodie. And the person has not been identified, but I'm sure police will use surveillance cameras and whatever else they can to try to figure out who the fuck did it. All right? A lot of people in hip-hop today are remorseful, but some are not. Some basically are saying he knew what was coming. He basically was playing around with death, and this is what happened. Again, I feel incredibly sad anytime a life is lost in hip hop, anytime someone is hurt, and I really pray that this is something that we could get past in hip hop in terms of people just constantly getting gunned down for maybe a difference of opinion or maybe some issues they have with another group. And sometimes it doesn't even have to do with the music, but we of course have to reflect on it in music because we know these guys through music. So it's incredibly sad. Prayers go out to the family and everyone affected. Yeah. I'm out, man. If you guys know a, a song of his or any memory of his that you guys remember, please drop it in the comment section. Again, it's not an uplifting video, but it's a video we'll remember Young Mozzie by. I'm out.